la neige. Elle tombe. C'est beau. C'est blanc. C'est bon. Et puis ça coule. As every year, we spend the whole winter season in South America, traveling around to discover new spots. After a very nice day in Argentina, we decide to spend some time in Chile and discover the valley of the Antuco volcano. It's been 10 years since there was not that much snow here. At the foot of the volcano, we find a small village completely abandoned. The development of the village, with its own small ski resort, completely stopped by the lake of snow of the past years. Bienvenue à Antuco. Only a few gendarmes live here to keep the border with Argentina even it's not possible to cross in winter. Our plan is to camp on the other side of the volcano, near the Sierra Vegueda, which is one of our objectives for the trip. Even if it's easier with the sled, it's still an adventure to find a way to our camp. After 20 kilometers and two hours driving in the middle of nothing, we arrive in the most beautiful place in the world to plant a tent, at the foot of the only hour carrier of the valley. Ça y est, on a trouvé la solution pour le poil. Ah, aïe, ça brûle. By the way, the goal of all of this is to go riding, in case we didn't talk about it.
fucking asshole, you know, like staying here around like for three days or <laughs> <laughs> The next morning we do less clever. The storm is up and we leave quickly. Leaving the camp on the spot. Here in South America you really shouldn't take bad ways lightly. When we come back the next day, the tenders fly away. Attached with stone and with the wood stove inside, he still fly for around 15 meters. But fortunately, it is not broken or torn. Canvas camp is doing some really good stuff. It's already 3 o'clock when we finish to clean everything. Just enough time to go for the sunset at the summit of the volcano. for stay in South America. Disappearing behind the range, I got injured like me. 
we must say goodbye to the mountain and return to France. This is exactly what Carpe Diem wants to say, trying to take the most advantage of the moment, because tomorrow, who knows, everything can stop. <laughs>